The Banshao Dam failure occurred in 1975. Torrential rainfall brought record-breaking floods across mainland China. The weather event ultimately breached 62 dams, including the Banshao Dam, the deadliest and most costly engineering fail in history. The weather that caused the dam failure at Banshao was a typhoon, also known as a hurricane. Typhoon Nina began as a tropical disturbance off the coast of the Philippines. The warm waters and wind continued to fuel the depression. Nina quickly organized and intensified into a typhoon. The storm moved in a northwesterly direction towards the island of Taiwan. At peak intensity, Nina had sustained winds of 115 miles per hour just before making landfall. The typhoon missed the most populous part of the island and would weaken as the storm went over a small mountain range in the middle of Taiwan. Weaker than it once was, the typhoon continued across the Taiwan Strait and into the heartland of China. On August 5th, the storm made it to the Henan province, where it would stall for three days and bring torrential rainfall, a total of 41.7 inches. With the rain received, the inflow rate of water into the dam was a maximum of 460,000 cubic feet per second. The dam was only designed to handle a maximum of 315,000, and the outflow rate at the time was only 140,000. Given the maximum that the structure was designed for, the dam was bound to fail. Following the collapse of the Banshao Dam was a wave that stretched 7.5 miles wide and 20 feet high. The wave traveled at 30 miles per hour and decimated nearby towns. It killed all of 9,700 of a nearby town's residents. It's unlikely for such an event to happen to this extent in the future. This incident was special. The typhoon settled over the Henan province and brought 41.7 inches of rain. That's nearly a whole year's worth of rainfall in just a few days. The dam was designed for an 1,000-year inflow flood, but the event was a 2,000-year inflow flood. That being said, the dam and the government were not completely out of blame. The Chinese government had poor communication with the communities directly downstream, and severity of the flood was underplayed. Many residents did not expect a flood to come at all. There was only one evacuation order sent to a single town. Consequently, anywhere from 170,000 to 230,000 people died as a result. An estimated 10 million people were ultimately affected by the flood. In the wake of the event, widespread famine and epidemics would ensue. Farmland was rendered unusable as water washed away crops and soil. Water contamination sparked epidemics in local communities, and the economy in the area was devastated. The Chinese government was forced to rebuild and reevaluate existing structures. According to Chinese officials, the dams that have been built since the failure have taken into account the severe flooding possible. But according to the policy director of International Rivers, Peter Brosshard, improvements have been made in China's dams, but corners are still being cut. That being said, concerns are likely going to go unnoticed as the government has no plans to change their infrastructure.